Hi, this is Jennifer from One Rose Fiber Studio. I've just finished one of my striped yoga socks and I thought I'd take a moment to show you how I do some of the finishing work. This is the wrong side. You can see I've joined the ankle band with the foot band. I'm going to flip it over. Actually, it's upside down. You can see here's the ankle band with the cute little bobble row. And this is going to be the foot band. This is the row of single crochets where I've joined the two bands together. I'm just going to thread a needle. I really like when I'm doing finishing work to use a needle that has a pointy edge because then not only does it go under yarn, it goes under the plies of the yarn and it gets a really nice hold. What I really wanted to show you is kind of how this is sewn together. So this is the right side. You're going to have, you're going to fold it over so that the right sides are facing each other. And then I use the unworked tail ends to sew the seams. So this is the foot band and I'm going to take this first piece of yarn and I'm going to whip stitch these cranberry rows. I'm going to skip over the heather gray and then use the cranberry yarn to secure these two rows and these two rows. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this gray yarn. And that way I won't have cranberry working through gray and gray working through cranberry. The other thing I want to point out is because we've carried two yarn colors, we have these longer pieces at the end of rows where we've carried the cranberry up to the next stripe. So when you're sewing these seams together, you want to make sure that you're going around these strings as well so that they don't show on the right side or the outside of your little socks. So to start, and I don't really feel like I need to show you this whole thing because I'm sure you all know how to sew a seam. Just wanted to take a moment talk about a couple of the details and see when I'm done with that stripe I'm going to skip over the gray stripe I'm going to come up to the next cranberry stripe make sure I don't pull too tight and here I've got that gray yarn I'm going to make sure I go under that just so it doesn't show doesn't take a lot. I might put one more stitch in there. And then I'm going to skip over this last gray stripe. Go into this last cranberry. So anyway, I'm going to stop there. Then I would do the same thing with this gray. When I get to the end, I do like to knot it to the other piece of cranberry string or the other piece of gray string I like to do um, just a regular square knot and before I weave in the loose ends um, I think whenever you're finishing having your finishing be very secure so that you're not having to worry about um, your stitches coming out or your sock falling apart after you've put in all the to the work to make it it just makes a lot of sense to make sure your finishing work is really secure so take the time um, you know to finish them up nice and when you're done you'll be able to turn it back right side out and enjoy your yoga socks thanks